In this video right here, guys, I'm gonna show you the quickest way on how you can get the free pink diamond chet. This game right here in front is how I got 15 blocks in just one game of triple threat offline. Super easy, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more my team tips and tricks videos. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. So I've really only just started this grind. I've already got 92 of the 200 blocks, so I'm already nearly 50% of the way there to get this pink diamond jet. And if it's speed you're looking for, the quickest way to get it done, you wanna go over to challenges, go to spotlight challenges, go down to season three spotlight, and you wanna play this first game where you're playing on difficulty is semi-pro and you're versing three very trash gold players. You have to use one uh, 20th, 25th anniversary player. I'm using the gold symbol R, but you wanna have three big man. I'm fortunate enough to have Victor Webb and Yam, which obviously does make it easier, but there are a lot of budget cards you can use. You can use a card like Emerald Taco 4. Bobo is another great card, really tall, really good shot blocker. Kristaps Pazingas as well, another super cheap card. Ralph Sampson as well, I mean he's super tall, he's 7'4", same height as Victor Webb and Yama. But obviously the best players you possibly can use them. If you have picked on Victor Webb and Yama, I know a lot of people have this card. So so it's game to 21 and whenever you have possession you want to shoot from half court you want to hit the rim or the backboard just so the ball doesn't go out of bounds and you know you have to it just slows the whole game down um, but you're versing three goal players that are not good at all they suck and they're very very easy to block so we're gonna get our first block right there and the goal is the longer the game, the better. Because the longer the game, ideally, the more blocks you'll have. I'm getting tons of rebounds right now. But yeah, the goal players suck. So if they get a wide open look, I, they're probably going to miss it anyway. But obviously, we want to be blocking their shots regardless. And then you can off ball, on ball, do it, whatever's easiest for you to get blocks. But because we're using such tall players, it's just, it's super easy to block them. And I just keep shooting the half court because. We want this game to just drag out for as long as possible. There's no reason why you can't get 20 plus blocks in a game. And the better you are at the game, the more blocks you're gonna get. I'm already on three blocks and I've just started. Again, we're throwing it at half court so it hits the rim or backboard. We're just trying to avoid that because now it's the whole thing has just slowed down and we want speed. So this is by far the quickest way to get blocks in my opinion, but it's not exactly how I do it. Now, the way I like to actually get the blocks is triple threat offline because it's so much more rewarding. I'll have one player that is gonna block my shots, Victor Webb and Yama, or again, you can use Emerald Taco 4, Bol Bol, whatever, and then just like two Sapphires, they can get buckets, but they're small. I want I want Victor Webb and Yama to be my, my big man still. Sometimes I'll get matched up against another Victor Webb and Yama, and those games are definitely harder to get blocks but right here i got matched up against three guards so yeah this one should be pretty easy i'm gonna off ball and just block as much as i can really and i've already started off with three with two sorry but the difference with this game is i actually i want to win i want to make the game go as long as possible still just get as many blocks as i possibly can but i still want to win because I want to be able to pick a prize at the end of the game and I still want to be able to get the New Year's uh, event pack as well because like I said, it's just way more rewarding this way, but it's not going to be as quick as the first method I showed you. It's just more rewarding, but I might have to grind an extra hour or so, but it really doesn't bother me. I'm still getting blocks. We're on three blocks so far and we're getting stops as well, but yeah, I am gonna make this game go as long as possible still and have, so show you how many uh, blocks I get at the end of it. So after that game, we got a total of eight blocks. Pretty good, it was quick as well, and yeah, it's decent. But we got a New Year's event pack, which is awesome, and we got to pick a prize right here as well. So we can make more MT, see there's packs in here and stuff, so it's just much more rewarding. So those are the two methods that I recommend for speed and just what's more rewarding. I'm now gonna finish this grind and get Pink Diamond Chat. I am only one block away right now, and uh, I guarantee you it's gonna be the hardest block to get. 
Here comes the final block right there it is. We have all the blocks needed for Chet. And just like that, guys, we got Chet. Super easy. This only took me a couple of hours. Trust the method, it works. We're gonna compare Victor Webinyama to Chet right now. I just think that's a good matchup. Victor is taller, but we got Chet 99 defense is amazing. He's a better shooter, like all round a better shooter than this Victor Webinyama. He's a better dunker. He's got a 95 standing, 85 driving dunk. I'm gonna put a shoe on this uh, Chet as well for sure. Ball handles the same. Victor's a better passer. Chet's better defensively. It, it looks like, look at the speed is much better as well. Honestly, it's just the height that Victor has over this Chet. And what about the badges? They both have 16 Hall of Fame badges, but Chet has 24 gold badges. Chet is actually so freaking good. And you already know we've got to test him out. We've got a game of triple threat online with our new pink diamond Chet. And there he is. He's going to be a good card, man. And he's not a copy or paste of the diamond one. Like he's actually better than the diamond one by a lot. I think his release is actually a little quicker as well. Haven't shot with him. There we go. Mid-range over Patrick Ewing. Final Lamello. We find him in the corner. He knocks down a three right chet. Not a, not a bad pass. So 4 1 1. And there's a steal. Thank you very much. Uh, go all the way. Go yourself. But was that under both legs? That's disgusting if it was. I gave him room to shoot a three with Patrick Ewing because I didn't think he'd make it. But he did. Screen from Chet. Don't get room for three. But he's, I mean, he's pretty quick for his size. Rudy Gay can't stay in front of us. Wemby's grabbing a screen from Chet. Throw up the lob. Oh, let's go. We've got a decent lead. We're going to grab a screen. Just cannot get that space. We just hit this. Was that a three? Only a two, but that was sick. The game is going down to the wire. Let's grab a screen from him. There we go, Chet. Another dunk. You got 14 points. We only need a couple more buckets to win this game. Our opponent is raining threes, though. He's hitting lots of threes. I'm trying to find Chet. I really am. I know I can get buckets other ways. Um, that was like, it's so slow, but we can get around Rudy Gay. I think because he's actually on ball influence. Steal of the inbound. Oh my God. How did he allow that over the top? And it's over. 100% worth the grind. Get it done. Use my method. It works, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you have chat, and I'll see you in the next upload. It's been witnessed.